Hello, everybody. Welcome back. My name is Klaus, and uh, we're playing some more Hoarding America today. This is going to be episode 25. I'm joined by Habit. Say hello. Hello. And Guantanamo is still over here, or Deadlock is still over here as Guantanamo. Uh, let's get it going. He's uh, he's working his way up the, the Gulf Coast there. That's, that's going to be nice. Yep. All that coastal uh, territory is going to be super, super nice for him in the long run, I think. The other nice part about it too is you could probably really quickly transport your troops across. Just just have like some, you know, ports. And you could really get it anywhere really quick instead of having to walk all the way around. And since he basically started off with a large navy, it shouldn't be too difficult for him. Are you kidding me? These people stop resisting. Stop resisting. Now. Stop resisting. Uh, colonial. Oh, okay. Let's let's do the. Hey, uh, wool. Uh, wool and Lenka. Does that make this territory any better? No. Of course it does. What are you talking about? Oh, oh. they did. Good. Do it. I will take you over. We shall be mine. Native assimilation. Oh yes. Oh ho 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 ho. There we go. I like it. I like it a lot. Would have been better on the other one, but I'll take it. Oh, Portugal finally got rid of those rebels in Miami. Yeah, it took them, what, 10 years? Welcome to my jammy, Portugal. I only know how to say like a couple things in Portuguese. Portugal is probably the easiest. I don't know. They're like similar to Spanish. Like, I think uh, pencil is like lapis or something like that. And oh, beach. You got shocked off still coming around. Beach is bloody. Can you get out of that war? Oh shit, they came back. <laughs> yeah, try and take your two. Oh god. Oh damn you, Castile. Because right now, Basaga, if you take uh, Guapa, it's going to be tough for you to walk through it. You're going to have to walk through two territories. Man, they're making Castilian Brazil so big. Yeah, they are. Man, i got to drink coffee so I can deal with that. Now, what I think is going to be a real pain in the ass, and I don't know if they're doing it or not, is if they go over and they try and get to Arawak, because Arawak is one of those special provinces. Uh, I think it's... Uh, what is it? It's like a natural estuary thing? Oh, an inland center of trade. That's what it is. Inland center of trade? Yeah. Yeah, I'd want it. That is a Spanish accent? I'll take it. Oh, Paradox fucked me, failed in their holy duties, and doomsday is upon them. Yeah, take that. Oh, yes! I don't have a royal marriage with them anymore. No, fuck you. Dissolve. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna wreck. I'm gonna wreck them. <laughs> give me like give me like five years and I will bring them into the fold I wouldn't be surprised if it was like a Spanish accent because it was a Honduran that taught me those words so I know I think he was making the point that Spanish and uh, Portuguese were really really similar and then he just started spitting stuff out at me. And those were the two words that I remembered. Pencil and beach. Interesting. Looks like you're going to be able to take that without me. Portuguese oh, is... Vassal, okay. 
an interesting language, to say the least. Oh, nice. Ooh, I wonder if I should go, uh, I wonder if I should go with a republic. That would be interesting, right? The Republic of Cartagena. Yeah, that would be interesting. Oh, come on, you Chimu bastards. You know you yeah, want to revolt. I would, uh... Nice. Yep. Now I go and uh, take Mobile and Choctaw. Make that a core. And, uh... Go. Nice. Nice. Getting ourselves some good old province haze. Man, they're still Aztec. Diplomatic. Appoint new diplomats. One second. This goes. I gotta pause. I don't need them. I got these noble regiments gotta deal with. Oh, Lancho. Can't because other allies are still in the war. Um, what time was Ragwas? Okay, sorry about that. No good. Choctaw, Cherokee, and Pawnee. Cherokee's all the way the hell up there. I don't even know where Pawnee is. No, oh. That's... That's dumb. That's just dumb. I mean, uh... Deadlock, you might even be able to walk some guys down from Connecticut if you have them up there. And not hurt too bad off of it. Um... But that is stupid that they have these allies su super far away, and it's like, oh, I can't peace out because those poop heads. But you might be able to do Cherokee, and that might give you enough leverage. Not 100% sure. Or you can just stay in the war. Like, the war will eventually uh, make them a little bit more accepting. Come on, hurry up and get over here. Dang. It takes so long to get anywhere in my country. It's so long. That's what she said. Sorry, I couldn't help it. Oh, England's <laughs> over here. Where'd they come out? I don't know. They just sent 26 ships over here. 19 transports, oddly enough. I don't think there's anything on them, though. Very interesting. I oh, guess they're just hey, exploring. Pop out these rebels and crush them. Do it. Crush them. Do it. Northern Occupy the capital of the get... closer one for five years God, and you can you annex guys them. You need to hurry up and stop bothering me. Just take your... Take it like a man and westernize. Uh, so Guantanamo, the master is saying that if you... Well, you have the capital. So if you have it for five years, you should just be able to annex them though. So just hold in there. You'll be able to take it eventually. Where are the fights? Well, Owawa, um, I'm currently in a weird situation where I'm protect I have these guys as protectorate, so I can't attack them. Uh, this guy's a vassal, so I already went to war with him. Uh, vassal, so I already went to war with him. Uh, Chimu, the problem with that is uh, a matter of stability. I have a royal marriage with them, so if I attack them, I... I have some national troubles. And Cusco, who I really need to attack, I have a truce with uh, for another six years. So war, war is a little few and far between at this point. Where's this 21 stack? Yeah, I don't see that. Guantanamo. Oh, you fell down. Uh, Wait, how does Guantanamo have a doomsday? He's animist. No, he switched to... Uh... I thought he switched over. He's, I think he's got one or two provinces that are... What's it, T? Yeah, he's got Nahuatl. Oh, provinces. yeah, his his state religion is Nahuatl. Okay. 
If you occupy... Ah, you kill me, Guantanamo. I'll take it. Uh, bu -bu 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 -bu. If you occupy the capital of a one province miner who is allied to someone else, after five years, that other AI will lose war enthusiasm. You can annex them. Okay. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's right, Master. Um, I mean, just even in general, if you kind of hold out and just bide your time, eventually, um, I think... I think it really is war okay, enthusiasm, just in general, drops. But you can also do it, I think, by wiping out their units and stuff like that. So as long as he has some troops patrolling this area, he should be okay. I don't know if I can get the mainland ones. Uh, yeah, I can. Oh, nice. Got that one. Wait, what? Oh, no, oh, stay, stay, damn it. Damn it! I thought I saw Caracas was done. Uh, there's a mechanic that prevents you from annexing country with allies before some time's passed. Yeah, I don't know. It, I, I, I don't know if I super agree with all of it, but um, yeah, it is what it is for the most part. I, I think overall the game is, is fairly well balanced, but every now and again, yeah, I'm like, really Paradox, really? Yeah, yeah, I, I understand, yeah. Wait, I wouldn't attack yet. Let me grab that other two stuff there, or we're going to have a little bit more trouble. I don't know if you played EU3 Master, but and that game was ridiculous. You could get like 50 fat. Like if you're in the HRE, basically what you do is you just vassalize like all these little guys and you just have swarms of people. It was super easy to roll face over there. And then uh, that was the one thing I guess that I miss is this diplomatic relations limit in EU4 that keeps you from having like 50 vassals. It makes sense and it's not as gamey, but it sucks. Somewhat. He can't see the HRE. Oh, really? I just had that light up like an episode or two ago, so I can see all Europe now. When I allied uh, Portugal, I got to see all of it. I can see Ethiopia and uh, Mutapa, too. Oh, uh, yeah, look at that. I can see just about everything except for Western Africa and Central Africa. That's really about it. And whoever owns Iceland and, you know, I can't see, like, Northern Sweden and stuff. Hey, bring that, uh, bring that one stack. Or the two stack there. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> All right, now you can go up here. Ah, oh, these reactionists, they're so annoying. Oh, my God. And I can't get a level two advisor. That's one thing I do really like about the new expansion too, is you can fire advisors by paying them money. It's like, here, have a little bit of money and get the heck out of my way. <laughs> but hey, in Havana, bring those two guys down. I, and it may need help. Oh, wow. Okay, cool. So basically, uh, the master has just said that uh, he is a modder. So I'm, I'm uh, going to assume. Care of them, so never mind. I'm going to assume. They do more damage to me. 
So master, the more provinces mod I'm taking is is yours. Because I will check it out. That's pretty neat. Yeah. Is it in the Steam Workshop? Uh, I believe so. But that's very interesting, I, and I guess I understand it now. And probably because he was modding, he he has this uh, perspective on it, which I guess basically one province miners get, like I guess ten thousand manpower, which is off the map. So if you could have a bunch of one province miner vassals, essentially you have unlimited manpower. Oh, I know you were the guy plugging it earlier. Don't worry, I remember you. I remember you. I, I would notice that blue name anywhere. <laughs> my memory my memory is short, but it's not that short. <laughs> That's funny. They actually got the, the colony and are actually doing something with that colony. They're down here in the south, too. They're over on Curacao. Definitely will check it out, though. Uh, I don't know. If, it's probably not going to be this playlist or this playthrough, I should say, but um, we'll definitely look at it in the future. we got a couple other ones coming up that we can do. All right. Goodbye, Hula. Um, here. We'll get those relations up. Oh, look at Portugal. He's sticking it all. The minute that pops up, become a uh, colonial nation. Wait, what happened with Choctaw? Oh, Vassal of Guantanamo. Okay. Hey, that works. You're just going to have to vassalize them. Yeah, what, what about them? They... No longer a vassal. What? How many people did he try and vassalize? Three. Oh yeah, only Choctaw. Hmm. Interesting. Very, very interesting. That's a that's a good uh, good attitude to have, especially in this game because things happen. Oh my God! Someone needs to die. My ruler, his ruler. Fifty-one. That's probably not gonna happen. Well, well, I'm at thirty-five percent. Damn it! Come on, give me a, give me a level two, admin advisor. I needs it. All right, let's pull this guy up here. No, actually in here. All right, Awawa, we're going to go to war just for you. I'm going to take a stability hit as well, but I think it'll be worth it overall. Just to kind of start consolidating a lot of this land right here. Um, since I can't really get... 
Um, any more vassals? There's there's no reason to keep these guys around. So I'm not going to have to undo really poor decisions that I've made. I'm going to have to increase the... Uh, the autonomy here. Just where... Well, that one I can't. Damn it. Yeah. Come on... Azaka Tula, where are you? Oh, I can't increase it. Damn it! Dang it! Let's uh, boost that. Alrighty. Yeah, good. Come on, come on, come on. I got it. Good. And no rebellions at all. The reactionaries are dead. Good. Bye, Chimu. He's losing ducats again. Well, tighten that belt, man. Yeah, you may want to uh, go and reduce either your advisors or something else. Holy crap, he's Are got a colonizing? Zero, zero, 0 leader. Holy cow. How'd you get such a bad leader? The Doomsday event. Oh, yeah. That it happens. Nice. That it happens. Awful. There we go. Come on. Stack wipe. Oh, come on. Really? If we can, that would be nice. More freaking rebels. I'm going to have to pause again while I find out where this is. Oh. Am I Western Tech? No, we were um, we were a nomad tech group. And actually, I think just last episode or something like that, we got Muslim tech. So, I we're doing better. on getting the western tech right now i'm westernized and everybody is getting pissed off in your country oh yeah <laughs> yeah they are i'm at 40 percent though <sighs> really so i have uh six more years of this come on come on come on ignore demands yeah got it Come on. Right. Yes, there we go. Better than that. Fight, fight, fight. Chimu separatists? No, 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 no. That is not how this is going to happen. Still not enough. Let's see you have like one point something more than um, the one thing I do have is uh, I think mm, plus 10 morale because of Nawaddle and plus 10 morale as my first idea and I think I have another plus morale yeah plus 10 so I have plus 30 morale overall uh, so if you're noticing really odd um son of a bitch who who messed up down here do what some people some people were messing up hardcore Okay, we're going to pull you down. And yeah, we'll try and pull a little bit of a pincer maneuver. No, we're not. 
Really? Really? The time is up? That episode felt really short. Too short. It did feel really short. <laughs> All right, probably guys. just because it was a good episode. Yeah. Too into it. <laughs> All right, guys. Oh, whoops. I need to pause it. Okay. We'll see you in the next one, guys. Cliffhanger. You should get to the point where anyone else would like it. And you're not going to stop there. No. What are you waiting for? Subscribe. Just do it.